Hey guys, Professor Bell, comic book here. No, 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 I know what you're thinking. Doesn't this guy ever shut up? I'm sorry. Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to Comic Book University slash the Geek Fortress, but mostly the Geek Fortress. Today, we're going to take a look at barrier number three, and let's get right to it, guys. Because this issue was just as quick as this review is probably going to be. True story. So this issue is what we call a silent issue. As because none of the panels had any words on it. It was just page after page after page after page of drawing. It will take you literally like 10 seconds to read it. Unless you want to actually look at the details of what it's going on. And qu here's a quick summary of what that was. We pick up with sort of like a flashback slash inside the mind of the main character girl and she sees who we think might be her lover from the past getting killed. After that she wakes up and she re she re remembers or like she notices again that she's actually in the spaceship right where we left off last time. She snaps out of it, that's the word I was looking for. So she realizes that she's still in this weird chamber looking thing where she was last time with those aliens looking at her and she is just as conflicted because she has no idea what's happening. We cut to another side panel where we see our friend Oscar, the male main character, who is actually now looking around the place and he finds his bag. Because apparently when this alien ship took everything upwards, it took up more than them. It took out like debris, signs, a whole bunch of stuff. Dirt, garbage, you name it, the machine beamed it up. So he finds his backpack, the one that he's been traveling with from Honduras all the way to America. And then he gets uh, found out, <laughs> be the best way to describe it, by this one of these tripod alien guys. And he like spits something on his face and then he gets dragged and he gets put into the same chamber with the girl. So this is the second time they meet in the ship after they met before when she was butt naked. Now even though they see each other, we see no communication, no interaction between them. Which as we know, it's okay because they don't even speak the same language. So I really like what the writers did there. They wanted, they wanted you to be even more part of the confusion and more part of the silent world that they're in. And at one point you see a couple of speech bubbles with nothing which makes you realize that maybe we are not supposed to hear them or they cannot hear each other because the aliens at the end of the last one, I don't know if you remember when I told you that she was bleeding from her ear, well they were doing something similar to him when they sprayed him with whatever they sprayed him in this one, so maybe they're not able to communicate fully, we don't know that yet, that's just me inferring that, but that would be cool because they already cannot communicate. But this might not be a problem because they will find a way out regardless. So I really like that. Kudos, writers. So she starts going through his backpack trying to find something that may be able to help him. And he's, it's all pretty much just um, a charger, a cell phone, which looks like a cell phone, like an older cell phone, maybe early 2000s. So maybe we get an idea of what time this takes place. Although it might have been just a phone given to him but the coyote who helped him go over to the US or something like that, we don't know yet. But it's a slight hint and we see a sticky note that tells him, uh, it says in Spanish, ask for Jorge, I believe the name was, I'm sorry if I'm butchering it, um, for this gardening job, $8 an hour. So we know what he was going to do. He was going to, into the US so he could find a job, the American dream, all that fun stuff. So good social commentary in that aspect. She finds a red notebook, which she goes through, and then he says, look at it, you know, and there is a drawing inside from his kid. That's when we find out that he has a kid back in Honduras. He actually has a tattoo on the side of his stomach, and he shows it to her, and he's like, I have a baby. I mean, this is all nowhere time, guys. It's just them communicating, like, with signs and stuff, which was really cool. And then in the pages inside the notebook, there was a drawing that the little kid made of him where he was a superhero. And then she's like, ah, oh, shit, okay. So a little after this, she finds a cigarette and then she gestures. She's like, hey, can I have this smoke, you know? So she starts smoking and when she turns on the lighter, she realizes that the alien entity ship, whatever they're in, does not like it. Because there's like a shriek and a vibration. And she's like, wait a minute. So then she basically looks at him. She's like, bro. 
we have to burn this notebook because the fire is going to make them maybe spit us out. And he's like, oh. So he rips off the pages with the drawing that his kid made for him. And then he's like, fine, let's burn it. So she starts burning and then again, shriek, shriek, shriek. And then they get like expelled, like, like it's weird. That's the best sound effect I can do for it because that's what it looks like. Just like. Go through like a hole, they get flush, and then they're like covered in water as they get flush, and they grab their hands, and we don't know where they're going next. And that's where the book ends, guys. Just like that. So you're like, what? By the end of this book, you definitely feel that dread, that adrenaline, that idea that hopefully they're able to escape, but you are not aware whether they're going to do it or not. And that is something that you get yourself into the comic book, especially in this one. No words. If you read it in complete silence, well, if you look at it in complete silence, you feel like you were there with them. Pretty good stuff. Great book, guys. Recommend it. It's only five issues long. We're a third of a way through. It's almost over. How is it going to end? I don't know. This third issue, even though it had no words, it was very strong. And that's why it's getting an A. Great job. Gay writing. I love it. But what do you guys think about Barrier Number 3? Let me know in the comment section below. As per usual, you guys have been awesome. I have been Lewis. Do me a favor, guys. Stay awesome and geek on. Don't forget to check me out in the Geek Fortress. Check our latest videos. And I will be uploading my one-minute review for Deadpool 2 in the next 24 hours or so. So be on the lookout for that. You guys are awesome. And in the words of Professor Bill, class dismissed. Adios.